Hey, what's going on guys? This is To The Point, a quick review series of the most recent video games released, and this week I want to talk about Marvel's Avengers. So, go grab yourself a cuppa, get comfy, and let's get to the point. Let me start by saying that the foundation of this game is a great idea, but it's clearly designed for a multiplayer experience and feels as much even when you're playing the single player campaign. However, the story of Marvel's Avengers is really good with some stellar voice acting. In fact, it's why I stuck with the game. And hey, there are some genuinely great moments and set pieces throughout the game, whether it be the introduction or rescuing a fellow Avenger from a space base. Even the boss fights are fun, but this game is far from the gold standard that is Marvel's Spider-Man. The story is very linear, which isn't a bad thing, but this is very apparent in the level design. Well, to an extent. You see, the odd mission will give you some sort of free roam, but this is hampered by constant prompts from Jarvis informing you of loot crates and allies in trouble, which can be rather distracting from the main objective. Whereas other missions follow a formula of follow this corridor, fight a wave of enemies, run away and repeat. Playing Marvel's Avengers quickly starts to feel like a chore and doesn't help when you're constantly having to fight off a horde of enemies which becomes tiresome and infuriating in itself, especially considering how clunky the combat system can be. It's a mix of fun with button mashing held back by a poor counter system. In fact, the only time the counter system really works is in boss fights. And the frustrations don't stop there. There's no visual representation for gear found in loot boxes, hence there feels like there's no reward. And to add to this, if you're hoping to hook your favourite Avenger up with some sweet new gear or outfits, then be prepared to spend some of your sweet earned dollar or spend hours on the grind. On a whole, Marvel's Avengers is fine, but it feels more like a side-by-side -side movie release than a standalone AAA title, which, to be honest, is disappointing. If you plan on buying, I'd wait until it's cheaper as the story will justify a cheaper price. However, if multiplayer is your jam, then go for it. Have fun and save the world. For now though, thanks for watching and be sure to let me know what you think. Until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.